Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Manor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us in the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawat, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, May your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer for the Golden Anniversary of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. 
O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you, and seek the outpouring of your presence, and in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Manor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Wednesday in the fifth week of Easter, memorial of Saint Vincent Ferrer, friar and priest. Saint Vincent was born at Valencia, Spain in 1350 and entered the order at the age of 17. He embraced a strict spiritual life and was later to write of it in his treatise on the spiritual life. For a time, he assisted Peter de Luna, the Cardinal Legate, and John I, King of Aragon, in reconciling both civil and ecclesiastical disputes. All the while he preached, first at Avignon and then in France and Italy. In 1399, he gave himself totally to itinerant preaching. During the Great Western season, he worked tirelessly for the peace and unity of the Church. At first, he supported an anti-pope, Benedict XIII, but later tried in vain to obtain his abdication. He was a charismatic preacher who traveled throughout Western Europe carrying out his preaching mission. He died at Vannes, France, on April 5, 1419. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, who will come again in glory. Alleluia. Come, let us worship the Lord, who will come again in glory. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, who will come again in glory. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, who will come again in glory. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, who will come again in glory. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah, 
they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, who will come again in glory. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, who will come again in glory. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please be seated. This is our heavenly King, who comes with power and might to save the nations. Alleluia. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven, your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain, your judgments like the deep. To both men and beasts you give protection. O Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall. Flung down, they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let the mountains break forth with joy, and the hills with answering gladness, for the world's true light comes with power. Alleluia. Strike up the instruments, a song to my God with timbrels. Chant to the Lord with cymbals. Sing to him a new song. Exalt and acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God. O Lord, great are you and glorious, wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and they were created. No one can resist your word. The mountains were to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks like wax melt before your glance, but to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us cleanse our hearts for the coming of our great King. Be ready to welcome Him, for He is coming and will not delay. Alleluia. All peoples, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues people under us, and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory, is from Him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on His holy throne. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. <clears throat> Let us pray. 
Almighty and ever-living God, you taught us through the preaching of St. Vincent to run the path to our heavenly home in expectation of the Savior. With the help of his prayers, may we be fervent in labor and in love and seek no lasting city here below, but an eternal dwelling place to come. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, Unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some others should go to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters. They were reported what, and they reported what God had done with them. But some of the party of the Pharisees, who had become believers, stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give, thank, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Please stand. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes, so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned. Because of the word that I spoke to you, remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch 
and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Stay connected with Jesus. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa ating Panginoong Isokristo, meron pong kwento tungkol sa isang sundalo. Siya po ay piloto ng isang helicopter at umuwi siya sa kanila at kinikwento niya doon sa kanyang mga kaibigan kung gaano ka-exciting at kung gaano ang laki ng panganib ng pagpapilot ng isang helicopter. Lagi daw silang pupunta sa dagat at uh, sinusurbe yung lugar, tinitingnan. At sabi niya, alam ninyo, sa bandang huli, ang aming kaligtasan ay nakasalalay doon sa isang bolt na humahawak doon sa LEC o blade ng helicopter. Sabi niya, yung isang bolt na yung kapag kayo nang natanggal, ay siguradong hindi na kami makakauwi. Patay kaming lahat. Ang aming kaligtasan ay nakasalalay sa bolt na yon at ang tawag lang sa bolt na yon ay Jesus Bolt. Jesus Bolt sapagkat yung bolt na yon ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit yung LEC ay sama-sama at kapag ka nawala yon baka hindi na sila makauwi ng buhay sa kalang tahanan. Ito ang pwede nating tawagin na modern version ng parable of the vine and branches na ating binasa sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayong magang ito. Ang ating Panginoong Isokristo, ang bolt, ang ating Panginoong Isokristo, ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit tayo nananatiling magkakasama. Sinasabi niya na kung tayo hiwalay sa Kanya, wala tayo. I am the vine, you are the branches. Manatili kayo sa akin. Kapag ka kayo nanatili sa akin, kayo magiging mabunga. Pero hiwalay sa akin, wala kayong magagawa. Kahapon po, eh, binisita namin yung aming isang barangay sa Palang, dito sa Manawag, kung saan kami po ay nagtanim ng lettuce. Pero ang sistema ang ginawa namin ay hydroponics. Bay, pagdating po namin doon, pansin ko po, merong ilang uh, lettuce na nakatanim po yung sakap. No? Uh, medyo lang tayong mga dahon. Kaya nung inangat namin yung cups, iba't ibang cups na maraming nalalanta, nakita namin, hindi pala umaabot yung ugat doon sa tubig, no? doon sa nutrients. Medyo kinapos. Yung aming bantay ay hindi Uh, na-refill, no? hindi nalagyan ng tubig. Kapag ka po kasi lumalaki na, mas malakas sumipsip. Mukhang nakalimutan niya. Kaya nung pag-angat namin ganoon, ay kaya pala nalalanta na itong ating tanim sapagkat uh, hindi na umaabot yung mga ugat doon sa tubig na kung saan makakasipsip siya ng sustansya. Merong isang kwento tungkol sa isang missionary sa Afrika Patagal na itong uh, panahon. Nanduron siya sa isang liblib na lugar. At uh, sa kanyang bahay, meron siyang generator na maliit. Kaya meron din siyang bumbilya at may kuryente sa kanyang uh, rectory. Minsan dinalaw siya ng mga natives do sa Afrika. At nung makita na ganun, ba, sila namangha, merong bumbilya na merong sindi ng ilaw. At uh, ang sabi ng native, pwede bang makahingi nun? So inisip naman ng misyonero na gagawing souvenir siguro sapagkat doon sa kanilang lugar naman ay walang kuryente. Siya lamang ang meron sapagkat meron siyang generator. Pinagbigyan niya, kumuha siya ng extra bulb, ibinigay niya doon sa mama. Tuwan-tuwa naman yung mama, umuwi na. One time, dumalaw siya doon sa kanyang mga parishioner. Nadaanan niya yung mama na humingi ng bumbilya at uh, pagtingin sa bahay, nakita niya yung bumbilya ay nakasabit 
at merong string na katali. No? Merong tali yung At uh, nagtataka yung mga bakit yung kanya ay walang sindi. At ang sabi siyempre ng misyonero, para magkasindihan, ay eh, kailangan nakakonek ka sa electricity. Kailangan mo ng electricity para yan ay umilaw. Ang buhay natin para laging mailaw at maliwanag, kailangan connected lagi sa ating Panginoong Isop Kristo. Itong malinaw na sinasabi niya sa atin, napakadaling isipin ang relasyon no? ng bunga sa kanyang puno. Ang bunga ay nakakabit sa kanyang mga sanga, ang sanga sa puno, ang, at ang puno naman ay connected sa ugat. Kapag kawala yung mga bagay na yon, alam natin na walang bunga. Sinasabi ng ating simbahan na tayo mabunga kung tayo ay nagmamahal, kung tayo may galak sa ating puso, kung meron tayong kabutihang loob, kung mahaba ang ating pasensya, kung meron tayong self-control, tayo mabunga. Pero ang mga bunga na nais ng ating Panginoon ay hindi isang bagay na theoretical. Ito po ay isang bagay na very practical. Halimbawa, kung tayo connected sa ating Panginoong Yesus, yung taong connected sa ating Panginoong Yesus Kristo ay yung taong hindi niya maipikit ang kanyang mga mata sa pangangailangan ng kanyang kapwa. Ito yung taong kapag ka nakita niya, yung kanyang kapwa ang naghihirap, hindi siya pwedeng magbulag-bulagan na lamang. O pagka nakita niya na may tao sa kanyang daraanan na talagang nangailangan, ito yung taong hindi iiwas sa daan at ibabaling ang kanyang paningin sa iba. Yung taong connected sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, ito yung taong kapag ka nasa lubong niya yung kanyang kagalit, eh, hindi yung taong hindi makatiis, no? na hindi niya babatiin yung taong kanyang kaaway. Kung siya'y connected sa ating Panginoong Yesus, ito yung taong gagawa ng paraan para yung kanyang kaaway ay kanyang batiin. Ito yung taong hindi ipagdadamot ang pagpapatawad, lalo na kung yung taong nagkasala sa kanya, ay humihingi ng kapatawaran sapagkat siya'y connected sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Ito yung taong mas marami ang encouraging words, mga salitang positibo kesa negatibo, kesa yung very critical sa kanyang kapwa. Ito yung taong connected sa ating Panginoon. Ito yung laging gustong magbigay ng pangunawa. Ito yung taong laging gustong magpahayag ng kanyang pagmamahal yung taong napakahaba ng pasensya sa kanyang buhay. Siya yung taong connected sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. So makikita natin mga kapatid na ang imahen ng vine and branches ay hindi isang bagay na theoretical. Hindi isang bagay na nagbibigay lamang sa atin ng masarap na pakiramdam kapag ka naisip natin na tayo ang mga sanga at ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo ang puno ng ubas. Ito'y isang bagay na very practical at dapat nating gamitin sa ating pang-araw-araw na paumuhay. Dalangin po natin na sa araw-araw ng ating buhay, lalo po sana tayong lumago bilang mga tagasunod ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Panalangin natin, na manatili tayo sa ating Panginoon, lalo na po sa panahon ng paghihirap, lalo na sa panahon ng malaking pagsubok. Panalangin po natin na ang bawat isa sa atin ay maging mabunga, katulad ng hangarin para sa ating lahat ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Please all stand. United as one body of worshippers in the Lord, we bring our needs with confidence before God our Father. Let our response be, Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful. 
eternal fine grower, make us fruitful, that the unity which comes from Christ, the true vine, may draw all Christians to his church. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful, that priests, religious, and missionaries may be committed to their vocation in the church and remain united with Christ in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful, that those tried by life's difficulties may be faithful to Christ and his gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful, that the sick may seek us as the source of strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful, that the faithful departed may remain in Christ forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. Lord, without you we can do nothing. Hear our prayers and keep us in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, with the whole creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we bring you these gifts of our own making on the feast of our brother Vincent. Direct our hearts to the good things of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Vincent, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, without end we acclaim.
We are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Please stand. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words the Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Love God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Be watchful. The Lord our God is near. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he will save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, 
the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be watchful. Be watchful. The, the Lord, Lord our God is near. Let us pray. Lord, united in the breaking of the one bread, we now pray with one heart, so that in celebrating the feast of our brother Vincent, we may live in hope until the last judgment. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Linga in Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer, so that the fire of that spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple, at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priest. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all, all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priest of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa inyong pong patuloy na pakikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our bus ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who makes heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.